So anyway, here we have we have Maya right here. She was just testing vocals out for me. Um, new studio in LA. I just moved out here. <clears throat> My partner Crown Bishop is not available. He's not here. He's probably uh, driving around Beverly Hills or something. But yeah, Maya is here. You want to say hi to Bishop or anything? You want to say to Bishop since he's not here? Cool. So that's your oh, shout out. Again? That's Teron Billboard back there. Bill. <laughs> I just gave him that name and he, he approved it. So that's what I'm going to be calling him from now on. Teron Billboard. Anybody else don't get mad because I gave him the last name Billboard. That's just, you know, God spoke to me and told me that Billboard should be his last name well, this Teron evening. So, yeah, Teron Billboard. Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> So anyway, how how do you like this new studio? We you know we we spent we went broke. I, I actually live out on the street. You know I don't know what people told you, but um, would you say the studio is is cool or it's all right? Studio's beautiful. It smells like brand new wood. Cool, cool. Beautiful. We have sauce. Mm -hmm. right here. Who? <laughs> it smells like brand new wood. Soundproof. Sauce actually cool. have his own spot here too. <laughs> now just testing the, the AC. Another room. You Noah's know, beautifully over there. <laughs> Man. So Cleveland is all up in here actually right now. Yes, we got sir. Zero, Tommy Tommy Johnson. Tommy Johnson. Doing his thing in LA. Yes, See how we came to LA? So we got a Cleveland, DC, or is it Baltimore? Okay. Cleveland. DMV. DMV. DMV? Texas. Okay, hold on, start Texas. over. Cleveland. Xbox. Okay. DMV. Texas, Angry Birds on deck. Let, let me, let me. Origin. For anybody who know about this, I want y'all to just post all the crazy comments. This thing cost me sixty dollars, man, and I think it was well worth it. So all you people as Angry Bird fans that made people who created Angry Birds rich, you know, just put your comments below. But yeah, I saw this thing. And um, I just introduced Maya to Angry Birds, so she might look it up and she might play it a little bit, and hopefully we get her on the Angry Birds stuff too. Oh, but <laughs> so, so yeah, so <laughs> we, uh, I was just, um, we actually was going over records, uh, new tracks that could be possible for her upcoming projects. We're not going to disclose the names, mm -hmm. but uh, just know that they're coming and. Um, Shout out to everybody who got the Kiss album, and I had four on there. Four, version one. yeah, version one. I had four tracks on there. Sugar and Spice, I had a couple on there. I can't Beauty remember how many. Beauty and Streets. Uh, and yeah. the Best of Both Worlds mixtape. Yes, I forgot about that one. Best of Both Worlds mixtape. That's history right there. Shout out to Lindsay and Nia because they did most of the records on that one, and um, three of them on. Kiss, mm -hmm. Mess Up My Hair, Mr. Incredible, and what's the other one? Um, Lord. Earthquake. Earthquake, soon. but yeah, Earthquake is coming soon, featuring my big head sister. Don't tell her, I told you that, Trina. Um, I love you very much, and uh, <laughs> you cuss me out later, but the song is crazy, man. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we've been waiting to um, drop that on y'all, but. Don't worry, very soon. And everybody's going to run to the dance floor, <laughs> including the guys, because you're going to want to see what the girl's going to do. And, and the pole, yeah. Praise God. Go to church on Sunday. But yeah, and the pole. And look at her face. She. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> any closing remarks to Ryan, Maya? Congratulations, Johnny. And Skeletone. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. We are trying. <laughs> Teron. Congrats, keep doing your thing. Thank you, man. Oh yeah, in the other room, this is Bishop's room actually. We have two rooms that split. And oh, shout out to Orlando. Can I put the light on just a little bit, man? Orlando produced Running Back, which was a single that was on Kiss Volume One for Maya with IS. Scunnar, one of our homeboys. And um Oh no problem, man. We got we got a, a crazy one 
that uh we just did for Christina Million. We ain't gonna tell you who the feature is, but that joint that what she talking about is something that every nigga wanna hear they woman, wife, other friend would benefit say. So I just heard it the other day and I Crazy. think he uh <laughs> approves. <laughs> So it's going down. I had to give him a shout out, man, on here. And this is Bishop Room. So yeah, but then they got a room down the hall, which is they getting some 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 diamonds and stuff put in them. So it's gonna take another couple <laughs> days. But best believe I'm gonna go down there and you know I'm gonna show y'all. But I'm gonna have to put my light level on low because of the, the the you know the diamonds and stuff gonna kind of blind you. But shout out to Sos, man, doing this thing. And uh. All right. <laughs> so, all right, I'm signing off this boy. It's his first blog of the iLab in L.A. slash DDR, which I call the Danger Room. And y'all see why soon, because I'm going to have the lights in here, and it's going to be kind of doing the S-Man thing. But, yeah, blog video number one, trying to make my publicist happy and start doing this type of stuff. But I'm so used to, like, Maya, she ain't nobody. So I just be like, I was, I was with Maya again, whatever. She be like, what is you? You're not taking pictures, you're not doing nothing? I'm like, man, I, okay, I got to get my game. But no, Maya's, let me, let me, <laughs> let me, let me get my emotions together real quick. Maya is seriously. One of the realest people that I ever met in this game. And when I was nobody, she used to always, like, show me a lot of love, right? And and she told me that one day my beats would get good. What? She told me. She said, she said, right now, you know, they ain't on, on the level. But one day, you you will get there, and I appreciate that. So I used to bug my all the time. I used to send her these beats on email, and I remember one day, man, I almost jumped out the window. It was this track called Night Quill, oh. and um, she had hit me. She was like, "Hey, Yanni, like, how much for this track?" You know, and I showed it to my wife, and I said, oh, "My actually like a beat." Which she didn't end up using, but I think that was just that moment. And um, but how much did you quote me, by the way? I don't remember. <laughs> I I don't remember. But see, I I was post, so probably fifty dollars or something. Whatever. But um, no, seriously, man, shout out to her. She one of the realest people that I met, and um, always supported me and stuff when I was along my way, and and um, that's why I always. You know, I do stuff uh, with her. I don't care how much my tracks and stuff normally is. You know, I'm going to always figure out a way to make it work because it's just a loyalty thing that I feel that I have with her or should have for her. And so I don't care. You know what I'm saying? When stuff happens, I'm just tell my management, I'm like, yo, we doing this. We just have to figure out what we doing, but we doing it. And some parts of the management, I don't say names or lawyers or whatever, they may not agree, and that's cool. But I'm going to still do, you know. There's a lot of information. Yeah, but, you know. I, you, I, I'm in the emotion right now. <laughs> she got the award. <laughs> See, this is, called, this is called the Buffalo Heart Award. Cause <laughs> the heart of a buffalo right there. I'm out of here, y'all. Turning up the microphone now. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Commercial break. <laughs> <laughs>